And our first guest joins us right now via satellite from San Francisco. Mr. Michael West is the CEO of BioTime Incorporated, stock symbols BTIM. Uh, Michael, welcome to the program. Yeah, thanks. It's nice to be here. Now, Michael, we hear so much about the stem cell revolution uh, in biotechnology. Uh, there are those who consider you the father of this science. From your perspective, what excites you about the commercial uh, aspect of stem cells? Well, you know, I, I guess it's, it's probably two things. First, uh, in looking at supply and demand, there's an enormous need in medicine to repair tissues that wear out as a function of aging or disease. The leading killer in the United States uh, remains uh, heart disease. And when you have a heart attack, you know, the heart cannot repair itself. Unlike the skin, when you cut your skin, it can repair itself. The heart cannot. And there's this whole raft of unmet needs in medicine and obviously very large uh, markets. And what has happened in the last few years is it's been possible to make new stem cells. They can branch out. They're called stem cells because they branch out like the branches of a tree. They can make everything in the human body. And on top of that, the second aspect is it fits beautifully into the biotechnology model these new cells are perfect, really, uh, for manufacturing. So we envision it's going to be possible, you know, and it is happening now, uh, to make an assembly line, essentially, manufacturing limitless quantities of virtually every cell of the human body. And, of course, the impact uh, of that on medicine and commerce and related to medical technologies is, we think, very large. Well, Michael, uh, what are some of the latest developments, and how has your company positioned it, itself in this space? Well, you know, like all new revolutions in biotechnology, uh, problems crop up. And the, one of the largest issues right now for this industry, we call the regen industry, the regenerative medicine industry, is the fact that these cells are so powerful and make everything in the human body uh, in this manufacturing process, purification has become a major issue. And so we at Biotime, we positioned ourselves as being uh, you know, the leaders in making purified product. We have products we call pure stem cell lines because we found a way of making all these hundreds of different cell types that we can make for the first time in the human body. Uh, in a highly purified form and uh, raising this, the standards of quality control to a new level. And so it's really in reducing these new technologies to commercial scale-up purified applications that we've uh, we focused at Biotime and where I think our expertise lies. Now how has this great ethical debate over stem cells that's been going on for a few years now, how has that affected the whole situation? Is that a problem? Well, yeah. It certainly has been. Uh, there's been a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of foot, political football played with medicine and biotechnology, unfortunately. Uh, but we've got great news. Um, the, in the last few years, uh, uh, we and others in the industry, we've figured out how to make these all powerful stem cells without using embryos or human egg cells. There's really nothing controversial anymore about this technology, at least the newer versions of it. And so uh, although the uh, field began, biotech began uh, controversial. You remember the, mm -hmm. all the uh, novels and things written about biotech out of control. Uh, the regenerative medicine industry now has transitioned into a non-controversial form, uh, except for uh, where it's written in novels and the movie industry. Well, you know, the Obama administration has made it quite clear they are directly in favor of stem cell research. Uh, this this uh, new thinking must have been a tremendous boon for your company. Well, I think so. Uh, you know, the uh, biotech companies oftentimes do the innovation, uh, you know, write the patents, do the fundamental work that uh, launches these new industries, like the biotechnology industry itself. Uh, some of the leading companies in that area began as very small companies. But have re found it necessary to lean upon the large pharmaceutical companies. They're the profitable ones. They're the ones with the ability to invest the tens and hundreds of millions of dollars it takes to develop these products to get them approved by the FDA. And the, uh, having the federal government backing these new technologies, the American Medical Association, the National Academy of Sciences, 
uh, the large stem cell effort underway here in California. All this has helped um, uh, cause the large pharmaceutical industries to enter the field and support the smaller biotech companies, and that's very important for the business model. We are talking to Biotime Incorporated, their stock symbols BTIM. For more information, please give us a call from anywhere in the world. You're watching Money TV, 888-259-4449 to get free information in the mail. Now, Michael, uh, now isn't one of the problems of biotech products the long lead time to get FDA approval? How are you working with this problem? It is. Uh, you, you've nailed it. Uh, if we were making, you know, handheld uh, computers or, or cell phones, uh, you know, the lead time from invention to launch a product is months or years, a small number of years at the most. In the case of biotechnology, the lead time is a lot longer. I suppose the markets are potentially larger in many cases. Uh, but we're living in an age where investors have, you know, uh, they're not long-term investors in many cases. They're day traders, and, you know, they want to see large profits in weeks and months. And so that lead time you know, it can be a problem. The way we've addressed it is our, this platform is so broad. We have now for the first time, you know, literally hundreds of human cell types made in a dish that have never been available before. That in itself is a product for the pharmaceutical industry and for biotechnology. And so we plan on making near-term revenues uh, by marketing all these products to other biotech companies and the pharmaceutical industry to universities to generate near-term revenues. We already have one product approved by the FDA, Hexten, uh, for use in the United States. And so we, we have a means of making near-term revenues to bridge us into the longer-term therapeutic products. You know, the business of your science is just absolutely fascinating. And, of course, the company is now international. I notice that you have opened an Asian subsidiary. What can you tell us about that? All right. I, that's really part of this model. Um, it, it, Asia, China in particular, has a sixth of the world's population, or approximately 1.4 billion people. And it's possible, at least in some applications of these new technologies, to develop them for therapeutic applications faster in China, uh, and yet with the uh, equal or better quality in some cases than here in the United States. And so we're actively pursuing that, as you mentioned, through a subsidiary, Biotime, Biotime Asia. Well, speaking of subsidiaries, you have one called Oncocyte Corporation. Uh, you recently right. announced a $2 million equity financing to help develop cancer yeah. treatments using stem cells. Uh, that's fascinating. Can you yeah. tell us more? Well, right. So we usually think of regenerative medicine is it means the regenerating the heart, uh, Parkinson's disease, you know, regrowing the neurons, uh, diabetes, arthritis is a big one. Uh, the, our cartilage cannot regenerate itself, and the ability to do that now would be a, a, a boon to medicine. However, uh, we invented some new technologies to use some novel properties of these new stem cells. Remember, these things have never been available to medicine uh, ever. And we found some cells that we believe uh, will be like a Trojan horse. We can engineer them genetically so that when they traffic a, and go into a tumor, inject it into the blood, for instance, and then go to the tumor, like the fabled story of the Trojan horse, we can then unleash from these cells uh, factors, things that could destroy a tumor. This would be a novel way of targeting and destroying tumors, uh, potentially applicable to some of the leading solid tumors, you know, breast, colon, prostate, lung cancers. We're excited about it. It's early stage, uh, but it's one of our subsidiaries uh, from Biotime. Well, I love the Trojan horse analogy. It makes it so clear and easy to understand. Once again, Biotime Incorporated, stock symbols B-T-I-M. Uh, Michael, why is this a good time right now for folks to take a closer look at your company? Well, you know, uh, we have a lot of information uh, on, on file with the SEC and on our website. Uh, but I guess that, you know, in two seconds, what I would like people to understand is this is a big revolution in biotech, the stem cell revolution, regenerative medicine. Uh, there have been first generation approaches to this. Uh, now it's been reinvented. Yeah, there's no embryos involved, number one, uh, but also uh, it's much more amenable now to commercialization uh, than it has in the past. We call it Regen 2.0, and Biotime uh, plans to position itself as the leader in this new revolution. 
Again, Biotime Incorporated, their stock symbols BTIM. Michael, we're initiating coverage of the company this week. We're going to be following you very closely uh, right through the middle of, of January of 2010. Looking forward to many updates from you during that period of time. Thanks so much for joining us on the show. Thank you. I've enjoyed it. And